looking for magic bullets to problems as old as time. Whether it's a presidential candidate or the latest pharmaceutical line, we want the once and done solution, typical infomercial education. But what more could be expected from a generation raised by the television? Work smart, not hard, my son. We've been telling our kids the same for years. But a piece of paper can't teach you the indispensable value of blood, sweat, and tears. No guts, no glory, as my old man used to always say. The slogan emblazoned on his favorite sweater as he rode his bicycle to work in the rain. And yeah, I still look up to him, though I've got my own kid these days. Because I've been realizing that love isn't a fleeting passion, but a choice you make every day. And it's beautiful and alive and exploding with wonder, but it's still a choice. A conscious act of will, not the knee-jerk reactions of desire. Looking for shortcuts to improve our quality of living. Minimal effort for maximum reward, but the end result is disconcerting. Because when you're handed the finished product, you can't appreciate its worth. And often learning something the hard way is the only way that respect is earned. But when the world is at your fingertips, love is reduced to digital invention. We order sex like fast food, taking pleasure rather than giving affection. Personalized self-gratification, objectifying sacred innocence. But when the screen goes blank and the bed is empty, you're left addicted and impotent. We can't microwave a remedy for the disenchantment that's in our hearts. It may have the appearance of being satisfied, but inside it's frozen solid with a hollow watermark of greed, impatient consumeristic lust, indulgent temporary fulfillment. Our ancestors would be disgusted. And believe me, I know the easy way out looks pretty damn good sometimes, but it's never worth it. absent from your presence because your nearness is my good for what does a man profit if he gains the whole world yet forfeits his soul but as for me I choose intimacy over security your nearness is my good <laughs> 